Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. Hi, I'm Mark, and today's going to be the Oracle uh, four card you pick uh, with the uh, dyadic cross to finish. Okay, so here we go. So these, this is another Los Scarabio deck. This is the Pre-Raphaelite Tarot, and I just loved uh, the um, the way these the artwork on these. And so um, uh, the work it's kind of a typical uh, instruction booklet. You know, you know, it's a little hard to read it's in a couple different languages, I think. And um, the box is not much to talk about, but the cards are just really beautiful. You know, they uh, handle well. They got like a matte finish, and they go right to the edge of the cards, and they're very vivid and bright and interesting to look at. So. I love these cards. And sometimes you just need a deck like this for a reading like we're going to do. So it's a good way for everybody to kind of see what the cards look like. And uh, maybe it'll uh, make you decide if you want to get uh, some tarot cards. And you don't have to get just some, some kind of cryptic thing or... I mean, they've got all kinds uh, that you can choose from. I'm amazed at this Los Caravillo and Caro Marchetti, um, the different uh, cards. It must be a, a card sweatshop they work out of there, to tell you the truth. So we'll get this going. So we'll see. One more cut. And uh, four cards for this oracle. One, two, three, and four. Perfect. So if you chose number one, oh well, no, first you have to pick. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, if you chose number one, okay, this is the Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords is typically heartache. And this is a particularly severe uh, Three of Swords here. This one even um, leans towards health. So uh, heartache uh, with an emphasis on health. If you chose a number two card, you in fact got the number two. And so let me think about this. So one, two. So this is the Empress. And so the Empress is uh, all knowing, uh, trust your intuition. And um, and by the way, this is a no card, this, this first one. Um, and, and being in charge of, of the situation. This Empress has everything she needs at her disposal to make all the decisions uh, that are necessary. So that's number two, that's a yes. Choose number three. Okay, this is the queen of uh, Ra, of wands. So this empress, this queen has a very fruitful wand. She is the uh, um, mother of action and planning. Another yes card. Choose number four. Then we have the king of swords. And the king of swords is uh, the master of truth and justice. And uh, this king is uh, a big yes card. So now we're going to see how this will play out in a dyadic cross for you. So if you chose number one, let's see what sort of answers we get. <laughs> let's see if we can even um, shuffle the cards. That would be good. What sort of answers we get for that uh, number one card. Let's see if this will help you with your issue today. Just lay the cards out and read them as they fall. Well, we first take uh, five cards. One, two, three, four. You know, that's the card that flipped over, so I'm going to use it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So the signifier in this draw, then, is the Three of Swords, which is a broken heart. And this really um, makes me think, I mean, this is all about health here. So let's see what happens uh, for the challenge to this uh, this uh, issue. Uh, for this card, we have the Nine of Wands. No, this is the Hermit, as a matter of fact. So the Hermit, then, is a... Hmm. 
The Hermes encourages us to, to look inside, to get some introspection, to uh, move cautiously uh, uh, before we uh, take the next step. Uh, you've got a very turbulent, uh, emotional uh, ocean behind him and uh, stairs uh, beckoning him forward. Uh, but um, So I would say the challenge to this illness um, is that we really have to take a breath and understand that we can move forward out of it, but uh, we need to uh, study the situation that we're in. Okay, the basis of this reading then is the Ten of Swords, which is uh, the end, end, end of a cycle. So the Ten of Swords tells us that uh, whatever had happened, this whole uh, reading now is based on the fact that something had stopped and uh, and said, "Listen, we're not going any further until we resolve this issue." In the past of this reading is the Knight of Swords. Um, is this the Knight of Swords or is this uh, Justice? Let me see. This is the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords, it's interesting that this knight is actually balancing the scales, uh, or I won't say scales of justice, but balancing scales uh, from his uh, steed here, but uh, wielding uh, that sword. And this is a female knight, so that's very interesting. It really suggests justice uh, without really being it. So the past of this issue um, is that some uh, justice was coming uh, forth, uh, almost unstoppable. Some justice. Interesting. Let's see what's in the sky here. In the sky of this reading is the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles in this situation is telling us that the King of Pentacles is always uh, telling us that we have to be in charge of our um, of our of our worth. We have to be in, in charge of uh, what makes us valuable. Uh, what makes you valuable more than anything is your health. Um, this was an affront to our health where uh, we became a little out of balance. Okay, I'll be able to put this together when I get to the end. And the last, uh, uh, the, like the outcome for all of this, then, is the Ten of Wands. And what an un 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 um, uh, pleasant uh, picture this is. <clears throat> but the Ten of Wands just assures us that this is a difficult journey, but we seem to have figured out how to master it. This fellow has tied up these, these, this bundle of wands, this bundle of action, this plan, all these plans, and is getting ready to move them forward. So let's recap. <clears throat> the signifier of this card was, was heartache, okay, heartache, having to do with health. We understand from the hermit that uh, we need to look inward uh, before we um, move forward, actually. The whole thing started with a, with a stop. In other words, this almost looks like a heart attack or some sort of a, an issue like that. The, um, the imbalance was coming in uh, before this, uh, causing this issue. We are in charge of our health. Uh, this king is a little bit sorrowful, but know that you have to uh, take control of your value. It's your health in this issue. And uh, with patience and planning, a lot of planning, you can move this thing forward. That's what I've got for that card. So I'm going to leave that signifier card out of the mix while we look at uh, the rest of these cards for the number two issue. If you chose number two, then the signifier for your issue, which that was a no card, this is a yes card, um, and this is uh, the Empress, and the Empress is um, leaning into your intuition and, uh, and understanding that um, with study and guidance, and you have all of this within you to, to make the right decision uh, in this regard. Let's do a couple of shuffles, then we'll spread these cards out and pull out five to finish uh, this dyadic cross. Okay, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. Okay. The challenge to this Empress card, again, intuition, uh, digging deep within yourself, using the knowledge that you have to move this issue forward. Yes card. The challenge to that is the Nine of Wands. And uh, the Nine of Wands is a hard-fought uh, battle, typically. Now, we see that this uh, maiden is all caught up in the, in the, in the tree trunk uh, of this planning, sort of here. Um, so let's see. Using our intuition is caught up in the hard battle that it's been so far. Notice this very turbulent uh, ocean back here behind these uh, wands, you know, these nine wands. 
Okay, in the basis of this reading then is the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands again is telling us that um, uh, we have to fight for this issue. This is a huge wand that this Knight is bringing forward. So it tells me that it's well worth uh, the effort that this is going to take. Okay, so that's the Knight of Wands as the basis. The recent past of this reading then is the Six of Swords, and the Six of Swords is moving out of trouble of water. Moving out of trouble of water. So we know that we can gather ourselves together and uh, and move out. Um, let's be sure that we include introspection in that because this can be a challenge. Um, but we have the wherewithal to make it happen. In the sky of this reading, then, is the Two of Swords, Truth and Justice, is how I like to imagine these two. And so what this tells me is that we have to make a decision. We have to make a decision to move this forward. And then the... Um, and then the uh, future, the likely outcome of this then, is the Eight of Cups having to walk away, knowing when to just pass up uh, all of these uh, uh, emotional issues and keep on going. Okay, so now we're going to make this, put these back together for the third card in this series here. Okay, if you pick number three, then you have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands has a big plan uh, in the works here. And uh, th if there was a question about this plan, then you need to know that the answer is yes. And we'll do a little shuffle here, cut, and spread these cards out. I think I'm going to use this area over here. And um, let's take five. So that's one, two, three four, and five. Okay? So, if you chose number three, that's a yes card. The queen of wands is a big plan. And uh, the challenge to that big plan <clears throat> is temperance. Temperance tells us uh, that uh, we need balance. And, oh, no, this is the star. I, I apologize. So this is a star. Five, 15, 16, 17. Let me double check that that is, in fact, the star. So, yep, star. Okay, so the star then is telling us that um, this this issue uh, can be uh, cleared up. Uh, we can uh, rectify whatever's happened here. Um, the base of this reading then is the hanged man, and so this, we came at this uh, from a different uh, perspective. We came at this um, stalled in making this decision. Uh, in the recent past of this, again, we have the Eight of Cups. I love when the cards repeat themselves. It kind of feels to me like they're on this track and we're working together. So the Eight of Cups is telling me that we uh, we had to walk away from something of value. And that's how we got to this uh, decision point. Um, the sky of this, again, how about that, is the Nine of uh, Wands telling us that it's a law, these are a lot of decisions to deal with. And it's not, um, uh, it's not clear immediately uh, what's going to um, um, be the right one. Okay. And then the uh, likely outcome for this, though, is celebrations. That's the Three of Cups. And the celebration, the Three of Cups tells us that, you know, with cooperation, we can make this thing uh, happen. So uh, just to recap, then, we've got a big plan. <laughs> we've got a big plan that we have to move forward. The star tells us that we're able to do it. We can get there, and uh, it'll be a big success when we do. It started from uh, looking at something from another position, almost being stalled. We had to walk away from something of, of emotional value. And uh, even though we shoot for the highest, it's going to be a hard uh, fought battle. We can come out of it, and then the likely outcome is celebration. So we're going to get there. It will be an emotional celebration, and um, this is still remains a yes in this respect. Okay. Now the last card, if you chose number four, then is the King of Swords. So the King of Swords is uh, all about truth and justice and just a determined uh, uh, truth and justice. Ignore these cards up here. They don't belong to us. Okay. I'm going to shuffle these. I'm going to cut them. And then we're going to choose five cards. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. We're done with those cards. So the King of Swords is the, is the signifier here. Uh, justice, truth that we can deal with. It's a yes card. That's challenged by the Ten 
of uh, wands. Again, a repeat from a previous uh, draw, uh, where we can we the challenge is getting things, getting all these planets organized and ready to move forward. The basis of this reading then is the six of swords. Again, uh, moving out of troubled waters. Um, so that makes uh, very clear that we had no choice but to get this going. In the recent past. Uh, we had the Three of Wands, and the Three of Wands, it was a situation where we knew there was some long-term planning, some, uh, some foresight that we needed to have, and that's what brought us to this decision point. In the sky of this reading, then, is uh, the moon. And so the moon are secrets being revealed. Um, so this could be uh, that we need to aim for getting these secrets out and making the best of the situation. Um, yep. And then the uh, likely outcome of all of this is the Five of Pentacles, Sad to say, the Five of Pentacles tells us that uh, we're going to have to seek um, help from within. We're going to need someone else to pitch in to get to this to get to this end. So this is a yes, but you're going to have to work for it. You're going to have to work for it, and it's not going to come easy, but it will. It will happen for you. So that, my friends, is the end of this four card oracle for today. Well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now.